Posture Guy Mike here. Today we're going to go over the negative effects technology has on your posture. I'm going to show you a couple different exercises you can do from the comfort of your own home to fix it. Since we live in a technology driven society, most of us are on our computers rounded over for long periods of time and we're on our cell phones all day long looking down. This can cause your head to weigh up to a 40 pound bowling ball putting additional stress and tension all throughout the spine. When this happens, our spines tend to lose its healthy S-shaped design, taking on the shape of a C-curve, putting additional stress and tension down the entire spine. When your spine loses its S-curve, it also loses its ability to absorb shock during weight-bearing movements. This can lead to herniated discs, slip discs, and a number of other injuries. By simply restoring your spine back to that healthy S-shaped design, this will create space for those discs to sit in between the bony part of your spine, the vertebrae, back to where they should be and heal naturally. Your body is so amazing. It's meant to run, jump, fall, climb. It's just important that you retreat back into alignment every day. I'm gonna show you how to restore your spine back to that healthy S curve with a few corrective exercises you can do from the comfort of your own home. Remember, watch until the end because it's important to do all the exercises to restore your spine back into alignment. Quick interruption, I wanna take this time to tell you guys about the posture glasses. This is such a powerful tool when it comes to restoring posture by keeping your head and neck in alignment while you're on your cell phone for long periods of time, preventing neck pain. The link's in the bio if you wanna check them out. Here's some of the equipment you're gonna to need to execute the exercises correctly. First, you're gonna need the posture rolls. If you don't have these, don't worry. Grab a towel, roll it up. Next, we're gonna use the posture block. If you don't have this either, don't worry about it. Grab a pillow and fold in half. For these products, I'll put the link in the description. This is gonna be the first of five exercises. To start, we're gonna do arm circles. Bend the fingers on the pads of your hands, thumbs up, arms out. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Feet, fist distance apart, slightly pigeon-toed. Perform 20 arm circles forward. Rotate thumbs backwards and perform 20 arm circles backwards. Now for the second exercise, grab two rolls and lie on the floor. You're gonna place the first roll under your lower back. This is gonna help restore the curve back into your lumbar spine. For girls, it's gonna go slightly above your belly button because your hips are wider. For guys, it's gonna go slightly below. Next, you're gonna place the second roll behind your neck. This is gonna help restore the curve back into your cervical areas of the spine. Arms out, palms up. Feet, hip distance apart, slightly pigeon-toed. Lie in this position for five minutes to allow gravity on the floor to realign your spine. Focus on relaxing your stomach, taking deep diaphragmatic breaths.
Next, for the third exercise, we're gonna wake up your glutes. Squeeze your glutes together for a one second hold and release while keeping your stomach relaxed. Perform one set of 25 reps. Now that we've turned on your glutes, for the fourth exercise, we're going to touch the bottom of your feet together and let your knees drop out, opening up your groin. Focus on relaxing your stomach, taking deep breaths. Hold for two minutes. If you notice one knee is higher than the other, this is completely normal and it's a great indicator to show your hips aren't functioning the same. After the two minute duration, they should balance out. There's no time for the pain, with the grind. I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took the red pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? When you're finished with the stretch, it's important to use your hands to close your legs up to avoid injury. Now that we've opened up your groin for the last and final fifth exercise, we're gonna grab the posture block. We're gonna stabilize your hips and pelvis and turn on those deep inner thigh muscles. You're gonna take the block, place in between your knees, squeeze for a one second hold and release at 20% of your strength. So a nice gentle squeeze and release. Don't forget to breathe and relax your stomach. Perform one set of 60 reps. They wanna sing my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games, I just do this fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these things I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave them be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Now that we finished the final exercise, make sure to roll to your side and come up to avoid any injuries. Thank you so much for watching my video till the end. Since you watched it till the end, you get a coupon code Posture Fix. We'll take 10% off any of our products or programs on our website, Posture Guy Mike. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, and comment if this helps, and let me know what you want to see next.